Hello guys, a warm welcome to Wisdom from North. The concept of twin souls has fascinated me for a long time now. And even though I've done a few interviews about it, I want to explore it further. So my guest on the show today is called Anna Kristina Augusta. She's a highly sensitive woman with extrasensory abilities, and she has been able to communicate with spirits all her life. She's also a TV star here in Norway, and she's appearing on The Power of the Spirits. And she has written this book. Uh, I've actually interviewed her about this book, and it can be found on my site with English subtitles. And in the last chapter of this book, she is explaining how there are more and more of these twin soul meetings around the world. And today we're going to speak about why that is. Oh my Christina, it's so nice having you back on my show again. Welcome. Thank you, Janneke. It's nice to be here. And I, you know, I read your book and I loved it so much. And uh, we did a previous interview about this. And I discovered in the last chapter that you wrote about twin souls. And I, I think that actually you have been the one who has made me really aware of this concept. Because before this, I've been thinking that it's perhaps just a myth or maybe just there are a few people who are experiencing this. But uh, in this book, you're saying that, uh, or I interpret that when we uh, start loving ourselves, when we start awakening, uh, there, uh, then we will uh, vibrate on a frequency that matches our soul's frequency. And then it's more and more common that we're actually meeting our twin souls. Now, why do you think this is happening more and more now in the world, that uh, more and more people are meeting their twin souls? Well, the reason I uh, got aware of, of this um, subject was because through meeting my clients, there were more and more people talking to me about this very strong, intense, sudden meeting with a person that they felt was the one. And it was usually uh, cross uh, generations. It could be very old woman meeting a young man, or it could be the opposite. It could be uh, very large uh, geographical distances. Um, very many um, physical uh, difficulties. But despite of that, they all felt that, wow, this love I haven't felt before for anyone. And they came to me and they started talking about it a few years ago. And I think that the reason why this is happening is because there's a shift in our consciousness and there's a lot more people now awakening to their spiritual self. And when that happens, we get in touch with the core um, part or the, how do you say it in English, the... the the heart of our soul, you know, mm -hmm. and when we awaken uh, spiritually, we also get in con contact with our hearts, and we understand that love is all there is. It sounds like a cliche, but you know, love is all there is. Mm -hmm. mm. But what is really a twin soul, in in your uh, perception, and what you've learned from uh, from the spirits that are talking to you? Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know the truth about everything, and I've I've studied this on the internet to try to search for for answers, and I've listened to the spirits on the other side and tried to 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 learn from them, and I've also uh, tried to listen to other people who have these experiences, and uh, what I what I realize is that. Because I believe that we are souls born into bodies. Mm. And uh, I think that we have lived m multiple lives and that there's a d dimensions um, after death and before death. So I, th I think that there are certain um, soul uh, contracts. And uh, these contracts or these souls, they meet. And sometimes they are meant to be together sometimes they're meant to to um, only be uh, very meaningful friends for instance uh, but I think that 
there is a reason for us meeting people that means something very special to us on different levels. Nothing is a coincidence. And I think that when I hear in my office uh, and uh, hear these stories about people meeting the one that they feel such an intense and instant love for, and I hear these stories uh, often. I hear them, you know, I talked to a woman on the airport and she told me the story. Hmm. How she met, you know, the love of her life. And I think this happens all over because I think that we are souls and we are born into bodies on earth. Um, but the soul, when we awaken our soul and we let the ego go, we, we, uh, we remember who we are and we remember the soul contract in a way that we're here to to um we have we have a um a mission on earth as human beings but when we awaken uh, spiritually we also remember that we're here as souls and the only mission for the soul is to experience love the, mm. the only mission That's for the, soul. the only mission mm. But these uh, twin souls, uh, after what we've discussed together uh, in our uh, conversations, uh, you also say that it is not necessarily a, a happy relationship. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of struggle in it sometimes. And sometimes uh, it just does not fit into your life. Uh, you can be different ages, mm -hmm. one can be married, etc. This is quite common in... in in the conversations I've had with other people that they experience a lot of physical diff uh, difficulties. Um, like you mentioned, uh, age differences. You know, there are women who's been hetero all their lives who suddenly feel this intense love for another woman. And, you know, it's very confusing. Uh, people can lead, uh, be married and have totally happy lives and suddenly... Uh, this strikes in in their life and it's everything gets confused and messed up so um yeah it's it's um i've actually i've never heard about any twin soul meeting that has been easy in the beginning um it's very common that it's very difficult yeah and are you the same soul in a way? Um, a lot of places on the internet, it says that this is like uh, uh, we are, we come from one soul and they were divided. Um, and then when they meet, they feel this instant love and this uh, feeling of being at home. Um, of course, I can think, you know, it's easy to think that that's the truth, but nobody really knows the truth about this. All I know for certain is that I hear stories about people awakening spiritually, getting to know the source of love through um, meditation, through emotional work, and then they meet, uh, they meet people who mean so much to them that they would, you know, it's difficult, but they've never felt these feelings before and um you're saying also that we're very connected to our uh, twin soul it's like you can feel his or hers feelings mm. what i hear is that um um i've had a few conversations with twin souls that actually made it through the difficulties and ended up together as a couple um a few stories about that too actually um uh, with happy endings and uh, and what they tell me is that they are totally connected telepathically. They um, can hear each other's thoughts. They can feel each other's emotions. So when one twin soul is having a bad day, the other one can feel it. They meet in each other's dreams. Um, and uh, it's a very sincere and close and uh, telepathic and loving relationship mm. Mm, that really goes beyond any words. You know, you don't really need to... You, the, the twin souls can be far apart and they still know how, how the other one is feeling. Mm. Mm. And the reason why um, I know that this is the truth is because I've spoken to all these happy 
happily ever after living together couples that tell me this, mm. that they have this connection. And it's quite common that the ones who meet their twin soul wonder from the very start, what, what is happening to me? Why do I have all these strange emotions? Is it me? me? I feel that I have a connection, but of course you don't know because usually these, the twin souls aren't in touch in the beginning. They have instant meetings and they feel that instant love. Um, and then when they part, uh, of course, there's a long period of agony and uh, all these emotions where they feel that on both their sides, that they're connected to each other. But of course, if they're not in touch, you know, because of their life situations, mm -hmm. they can't get it confirmed. Mm. Is this information that you've also uh, heard or downloaded or heard from the spirits? Have they talked a lot about this? Uh, I've had spirits coming to me as couples on the other side who's, oh. who's told me that we were twin souls and that we came from the same source. But, you know, um, mm -hmm. I can't, you know, give any scientifically <laughs> yeah. proof that this is the way it is. But, uh, yeah, I, I, mm. if you want my... I'm humble, I could be wrong, but I, what I think is that I think that's the way it is, yeah. Mm. And you're talking about these different stages in a twin soul um, relationship. Can you talk a little bit about yeah, that? Uh, what people have told me is that uh, they meet their twin soul and there's not a shadow of a doubt that this is so special. I've never ever had this kind of meeting with any human being and it often happens on really weird places like the the sort of place that you wouldn't think that you would meet anyone that you love so deeply mm -hmm. and you feel they feel instantly that they love this person more than anyone uh, even though they don't know that person and what is uh, what is often what I hear is that it's uh, what I think is that both twin souls uh, know each other. You, when you look, they look into each other's eyes and they see a mirror of themselves. And they feel this instant love. And that love is like putting on a flashlight in their own soul. So not only are they aware of the possibility of, of loving another human being so deeply and so... Um, how do you say it in English, without any um, demands. Um, but they also become aware of themselves because the love that they feel is like turning on a flashlight in their own, uh, in their own darkest corners, you know? And when you turn on a flashlight inside yourself, you are confronted with all your dark spots <laughs> and that's when the challenges start when because both twin souls are not only souls born again on earth but they are also individual human beings and they have individual lives individual uh, challenges uh, they are individual person uh, personalities and they, free will they have a free will individually and um, they are raised different places you know they have different resources so what often happens is that there's a synchronicity invo involved that the twin souls will always meet up again the universe wants them to meet because in order for them to awaken fully they have to love themselves and that amazing love that they feel from, for the other human being is also their opportunity to start loving themselves with the same kind of love. So uh, without demands, just totally, completely open. Um, because like you said, that you see uh, the twin soul, you see his bad sides and his good sides, and that's a reflection of your bad mm. and good sides or bad. <laughs> well, I don't think that any, any I, th I think that most people are good, but we all have different challenges. Mm. And I think that when the twin souls meet, they, they see themselves mm. 
in the other person. They're a mirror. They're the same. They are twins. Because often you have the same uh, challenges. Often they have the same challenges, even though at, maybe at first glance it could, can look the same. But emotionally, they could be afraid of the same things. The same stuff can make them angry. Mm. Um, so often these relationships um, are... <laughs> are how do you say it in, in English, they are filled with very deep and intense emotions, both good and bad, because when the love is great, the love is great. But when both are upset, of course, they react completely the same. So both are going to slam the door <laughs> and run out. So, yeah, so it's not so practical in a way as such a relationship. A lot of these relationships uh, actually do not end up good, mm -hmm. and this, they they oh. apart, and they are not able to meet uh, and meet peacefully. Um, I just I heard about you know I heard about a few couples that met the love of their life through their twin soul, uh, the same way as I just described earlier in the interview when they were quite old and they, there wasn't any parting they both knew it immediately and they were together from day one and what I thought when I heard uh, these two stories was that okay these are people who have lived through their individual challenges and they are ready they have turned on the flashlight of love multiple times through their lives they ha they don't need they are ready for love for the mm -hmm. ultimate love and i think that when the twin souls part it's because every time the twin souls meet uh, the flashlight of love is turned on and when they part they are faced with themselves with the grief with the sorrow uh, and they the longing the longing but actually what it is is an opportunity to love themselves even more and when they finish with um, every time they part they are faced with different themes to work on like mm. fear and that could be a theme that repeats itself uh, many times and when they finish with that there's another maybe anger um and so they have to, both twin souls have to individually take a choice to work spiritually and emotionally by themselves. Uh, that's the only way the twin souls can be together in the physical life. So this first stage is kind of, uh, just to back up a little bit, mm -hmm. that's about meeting and it's all wonderful, the all honeymoon wonderful effects, yeah. <laughs> like Bruce all... Lipton is saying. And, uh, but then they part for some reason. Uh, often and then they can work on their, themselves and then the universe brings them back together again to remind them of that to re to remind them of that that uh, amazing love what love really is mm. and then uh, if they have a, uh, more issues to work on they are parted and of course if both um, if both um, twin souls aren't ready to work on themselves, aren't spiritually awoken, aren't uh, spiritually aware of this is what I want to do. Maybe they are, they feel um, that the current situation they are in is, is uh, demanding them so much as human beings. So they don't want, it's scary to develop because if I develop, then there's going to be a lot of physical changes around me. So um, not always do do the twin souls um, take the same choices, you know. Mm. Um, yeah. Do we all have a twin soul? You think? Oh, I would. I would like to hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that when I think that our our physical lives uh, is a mirror of how we feel inside. And I think that when we, spirit, uh, when we awaken spiritually, we uh, get in touch with the universal love, the this, this soul, uh, the core center of our soul, which is love. The only purpose of the soul is to, to step forward in the spiritual process so that we can love ourselves even more.
that's why we, we're here as human beings to see that. And um, I think that when we get in touch with that, uh, that uh, wonderful feeling and we realize what's the meaning of life, I think that as our life is a mirror of how we feel, we are going to meet a lot of people that is a mirror of how we feel. So if we feel more love for ourselves, of course we are going to meet someone else who's at the same spiritual journey and that we can look upon. Um, in a way, I think that all people that we meet and that means something uh, important to us is a mirror how we feel in some certain area. Mm. If there's a struggle with someone, it's because we are that person is a mirror of something that we all already carry inside. Mm. So yeah, in a way, I think that when you are in touch with the with the spiritual awakening uh, part of yourself and you you get in touch with love, I think that you will ultimately meet someone who is on the same journey and, and the same path and who has the same longing. Mm. Hmm. I'm just thinking that um, uh, sometimes we tend to, or I can tend to label things and be like, oh, I really want to be together with my twin soul, but maybe, you know, this life is not, or I'm not meant to be with my twin soul in this life, but I can have a beautiful uh, another relationship with a soulmate or but there's so many words but as long as you know I work on myself and give myself self-love that's you know the highest purpose and I will end up being with my twin soul at some point uh, maybe not in this life but mm -hmm. in another life so maybe just uh, let it go a little bit is that you know yeah. well what is what I hear in these stories is that after there's like the stage where you meet and uh, both twin souls are just, you know, really struck by this huge feeling of love that they've never feel, felt before. And then there's the parting and the insecurity and all the fears. And, and, uh, uh, and you know, when you also, it's very, it's very natural that when you experience so much love that you realize as a human being that if I'm, if I see all my wrongs, what if that other pe person sees me as I really am? Oh my God, <laughs> I could be rejected. <laughs> <laughs> so all the fears come in and um, it's very normal that um, when the fear, fear of being rejected, maybe this isn't real, the insecurities come, maybe I was mistaken, uh, the one or both the twin souls are going to turn away from the situation because it's just too overwhelming. They are one or both of them will be overwhelmed, and if only one is overwhelmed and tries to uh, protect him or herself from the situation, the other one uh, will lose that emotional feedback because in the beginning, remember they they. They have the same emotions and that feeling of love just is like a wave between them and it's such a beautiful feeling. And so it's very common what I hear people say that why don't, why can't I, you know, get the good feelings anymore? And the uh, there's one twin soul, um, uh, I've heard a no number of stories about this where one twin soul will try to sort of manipulate uh, the other one because that feeling of love is so wonderful. I want that feedback. What can I do to help the other person? Can I? Uh, so one twin soul will try to not manipulate, but maybe try to do whatever he or she can to make the other person come emotionally back. Mm. And that's not a good idea. No. Uh, because first of all, what you're doing, what they are doing, then they are running from themselves. They are forgetting that the main purpose of meeting the twin soul is to love yourself, mm -hmm. to focus on yourself, to give yourself the same kind of love that you actually feel for that other person. It's very mm -hmm. complex. And um, second of all, what you're doing is is you're not trusting the universe. Because the universe wants the, the twin souls to meet whenever they are ready. 
and you can't push the universe. It's like saying to the wind, oh, can you stop blowing today? You know, <laughs> it's not possible. So the universe has its reasons. And um, I usually tell the people I talk to that just, you know, just lean back. Don't worry. Mm. Focus on yourself. Don't, and, you know, people are really sad. They feel rejected. They, 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 because they long to be with the other person. The human side of them long to be with other, that other person. But self-love is, you know, it's very complex. And um, in order to, to love oneself, um, sometimes it's hard. You have to make a lot of choices. And focus is maybe a part of that that journey but is it okay to i mean date others <laughs> i mean of course <laughs> yeah i'm just thinking that you know you want this big lo love and you you okay let's say we've met our twin souls and you part and you can be like well i want to be with him but maybe you should uh perhaps just let it go then you know look at this in a bigger perspective and then be open for other soulmates you know and then yeah, yeah. well uh, it's not always that the soulmates and end, uh, end up together as a romantic fairy tale story that we feel that this should be for the twin souls the twin right. yeah the twin souls feel that 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 should be um so of course um uh, people should date other people uh because as i said both twin souls have individual choices mm. and not all the twin souls are spiritually ready to love themselves. Mm. Mm. That's what it's all about. They have to make mm. that choice. And, you know, if, if one person, for instance, starts loving uh, themselves, um, there's going to be a lot of changes in life. Mm. Mm. Developing can be very scary for a lot of people. Mm. Mm. I like that. I mean, I like that it's about self-love because I'm, I've been thinking a lot, you know, being single, that why am I so eager to put my love on another person uh, and that he should kind of own my happiness. So whatever he does uh, determines how I feel. Mm -hmm. That feels wrong. So I just resonate really with this thought that we got to love ourselves before we can really give love to another one. Yeah, that's correct, Janneke. And um, of course, it's very natural to, to long and to to feel and to, you know, be frustrated because you, you can't be with the one that you love. But um, meeting the twin souls, what I think is, is all about unconditional love. Mm. Because it's about loving the other person in spite of what that person person chooses to do mm. because right. he or she is you mm. Mm. that's a deep one yeah. she or he it's is you yeah so if that person is your soul your twin soul then it's you it's <laughs> you so you have to really respect that person's choices. Mm. You can't you can't harm that person, you can't push it. You just have to trust the universe. That's mm. it. And in the meanwhile, while the universe is working and you have your hopes up, <laughs> you know, do whatever makes you happy and you know, be around good people, work on your emotional issues. Mm. Mm. We all have that. Mm. Mm. Eat healthy. Mm. And have faith. I love that. Yeah, you know, and I think that the more you see yourself and the more you work on your emotional issues and heal them, the more love you feel for yourself um, mm. and also your twin soul. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to add in the end? No, I'm just really thankful for being invited. Thank you. It was wonderful having you back. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Have faith. Much light from Oslo. Bye-bye.